Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and another makeup tutorial. Yes, I have broken out somewhat a lot. This pimple right here is not leaving. He's not paying rent, but he's also not leaving the building either. So he is clinging on for dear life right now. But today I am going to be doing a full face of vegan makeup. A lot of these brands are cruelty free as well. But do bear in mind if you are looking for vegan products that not every cruelty free company have a vegan option. Tarte, NYX, Fenty, e.l.f. they are cruelty free and they also have vegan options but then there are some companies who are just purely cruelty free and not vegan so if you're looking for any vegan products make sure to look in the FAQ and look in the ingredients as to whether they are vegan or not but everything I am using today is vegan I have done my research I have spent majority of last night looking up ingredients and if they are FDA approved if they are not and I've lost sleep over this for you guys so you can thank me later so first is to prep the skin I'm going to use this as my primer as well but this is by Tarte and this is the drink of H2O hydrating boost and this is the little travel size but it smells so good just going to use this as a primer as well because i don't actually have a vegan primer on me as of right now but if you are looking for a vegan primer you have the angel veil by nyx you also have some of their photo finish by nyx primers the color correcting primers and tart also have some vegan primers but i just haven't got any on me as of right now so i'm just going to use this as a primer i'm just going to massage that into the skin so now that my moisturizer slash primer is tacky i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty pro filter soft matte long wet foundation in the shade 110 this is too light <laughs> i will tell you now this is too light um i should be 120 but when i bought this i think i mentioned this in the review that i did or a video that I use this in. I did mention that this is too light for me. I should be 120. I bought this online. If you're buying foundations and you do not know what shade that you need, go in store and get yourself um colour match. Don't do it online like me. So I'm just going to apply this with a beauty blender. It does say on the Fenty website that not all of her products are vegan. She is a cruelty free line but not all of her products are vegan. But if you are unsure whether a company is vegan or cruelty free, look in the FAQs on their websites and I will also link down a post where all cruelty free brands are. Next for concealer I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. This is also a holy grail of mine as well. I'm going to buff that in with my beauty blender as well. Then to set that I'm going to go in with my translucent powder by e.l.f. And I am just going to set the entire face with a bare minerals brush. Next is contour. I'm going to go in with my Highlight and Contour Pro palette from NYX. This is the powder version, but they also do this palette in cream contour. But I'm just going to pick up this shade right here. This is a cooler tone brown shade. And I'm just going to be using a Bare Minerals and Wool brush. I'm just going to contour my cheeks. I'm now just taking this warmer brown on the same angle brush from Bare Minerals. I'm just going to go over the top of that just to warm the face up a little bit. I'm also going to take that colour across the perimeter of my forehead as well. And slightly down the sides of my nose. I don't normally contour my nose, but today I'm feeling a little bit extra. So like I said, I'm just going to take that warmer shade and just take that around the perimeter of my forehead on a Bare Minerals fluffy brush. The blush I'm going to go in with my Milani Bake Blush in the shade Luminoso. Love this shade so much. I'm going to go in with my Spectrum Angle Brush, which is an AR5 brush. I'm just going to buff that just on the apples of my cheeks and bring that up into the contour. Just to give me a little bit of colour. Next is highlighter. You know your girl loves highlighter. So obviously I was going to get a vegan highlighter. And this is by Jeffree Star. This is the Skin Frost in the shade Peach Goddess. It's such a beautiful peachy, corally, 
golden shade. I'm just going to keep this to the high points of my face. So i.e. the cheeks, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, a little bit above the brow here where the sun and the light naturally hits. Keep us about a little bit on the chin to bring those features forward. And just taking my Bare Minerals brush again, I'm just going to blend that out so it's not like I've got racing stripes on my face, although I would totally go out looking like this with just racing stripes of highlight everywhere, but let's be real. So face makeup is now done. Definitely Vogue. Definitely Vogue. But I use the Pixie Vitamin Wake Up Mist. This is not vegan, although, although Pixie is cruelty free and they do have two setting mist, the hydrating milky mist and the makeup fixing mist. Those two setting sprays, mists, are vegan, but this one is not. That's why I just didn't show you. So for the eyes, I'm going to use Essence My Must Have Palette. This is vegan, cruelty-free. And it's actually quite a cute palette. I'm not going to lie, quite a cute palette. So I'm just going to pick up this shade right here, which is like a cool tone brown matte shade. I'm going to use my Spectrum BO6 brush, and I'm just going to... Wow, that's... I'm just going to buff that into the crease. I'm just going to blend that out with back and forth motions but in circular motions at the same time just to blend that colour out. Next I'm going to pick up this darker, more warm, deep brown shade. I'm just going to buff that into the outer corner just to deepen that crease colour even more. Then just using my A12 Spectrum brush, I'm using that same deeper brown shade. I'm just going to take that underneath the outer corner of my lower lash line. Just so the top lash connects with the bottom lash. You want to keep the darker colour on the outer portion of your eye to give your eyes that more of an elongated look. Then picking up this more taupey shimmer shade on a Spectrum A12. 13 brush. I'm just going to spray my brush Using a setting spray on shimmer shades just gives you that added extra pop and intensity on shimmer shades Because not every shimmer shade is very blinding. So if you want that extra added pop glow pizzazz bam, spray your pigment or your brush and then apply and your shadows come out even more intense. And then going back in with my Spectrum brush, I'm just going to buff that shade into the two colours we've already laid down so it's all seamless and blended. Same colour and same brush, I'm just going to apply that to my lower lashes as well. Next, I'm going to go into the Dose of Colour Desi and Katie, the girls palette. I'm just going to pick up this shade right here, and I'm just going to pick up this shade here, Suze, on the same A13 brush. I'm just going to stick that on the inner corner as a highlight, just for an added pop. A little bit underneath the arch of the brow as well, and only the arch, because you only want to highlight the highest point of your brow. So up next is eyeliner, so I'm going to go in with my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. You could also use their matte eyeliner. They are both on the vegan list from NYX Cosmetics. So what I do is just line my top lash first. Literally no word of a lie, I am not breathing when I do this. I, I'm, Jesus has taken the wheel. And that is basically a wing. It's not the greatest wing I've done with one of these kind of eyeliners. I prefer to use a felt tip liner to do my wing, but this is a brush liner, so it's a good wing for that. So I'm just going in to wing this eye, and I will be right back. So Jesus took the wheel right there for me, and my liner is now done. I am now going to tight line and fill in my waterline with the Tarte Sex Kitten Co Liner in black. And I'm just, I need, I need a closer mirror, I don't know why I put that mirror away. So I'm just going to tight line my top lash. Just so my falsies blend a lot better with my natural lashes. And I'm just going to take that across my lower lash line as well. Then go back in with that smaller brush that we blended, the deep brown shade. I'm just going to buff that over the black so it's more 
put together more seamless. I pulled some horrendous faces. <laughs> so next is Falsies and they are by Ivy Yor and my main girl, Nicole Guerrero. Love her so much. This is from the Vlogger series and this is the Ivy Yor Vlogger series with Nicole Guerrero. And these are the casually glamorous, they are wispy, they are long, they are a casual dramatic lash. These are not vegan, but I couldn't find any vegan lashes that I already own. But there are vegan lashes out there for you guys. Don't you worry, I will list a few down below for you guys, as well as fixing mists. So don't you worry, I've got you, I've got you. But for today, I will be using these. These are cruelty free. So I am just going to stick these on off camera and I will be right back. So while because as you can still probably see lash glue drying to my eyeballs. I am going to move on to lip. So my lip colour choice is going to be a bright red. So obviously I'm going to be using Hot Fire from the Desi and Katie collection that they did in collaboration with Dose of Colour. This. This is a hot fucking red. Just going to say. So I'm just going to stick that to my lips. So like I said, this is a bright kick-ass red. So now I'm just going to stick some mascara on. This is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. This is not waterproof. This is that original formula. I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lashes. And this classic glam look is completed. I cannot stop looking at this red lip, honestly. This lip is everything right now, it is everything right now. All the products that I have used in this video will be listed down below for you guys, as well as vegan makeup brushes, because like I said, the makeup brushes that I have used in this video are not vegan, but they are cruelty free. And I will also be listing vegan lashes, because I honestly thought these were vegan, but they weren't, they were cruelty free. So anything that isn't vegan, that I thought was vegan, will be listed down below, so lashes and brushes. If you did like this video, then click the thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I'm here every Tuesday with a makeup beauty related video. And I am here every Sunday with a weekly vlog. So, I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys!